Hello, this is question number 48 in chapter 6 of Walker Physics 4th edition, uh, the end of the chapter problems. So we've got a connected string problem here. A 3.5 kilogram block on a smooth tabletop is attached to, by a string to a hanging block of mass 2.8 kilograms as shown in the figure. The blocks are released from rest and allowed to move freely. Is the tension of the string greater than, less than, or equal to the weight of the hanging mass? Okay, well, hmm, I haven't done the math yet. Let's look at the other questions. Find the acceleration of the block and the tension of the string. Well, if they're asking me for an acceleration of the block, obviously this is not being accelerated up because there's no reason for this to push that way. That means that the problem is making us think that the, this is going to tug and this is going to move this way. So if that's true, then mg is going to be bigger than tension. So if this is the tension in that string, if they were equal, this would not move. Okay, so if this were heavy enough so that the tension in the string were equal to the, to the, to the weight, then this would be stationary and it wouldn't accelerate at all. And I suppose the acceleration could be zero, but I, it just makes me think that they're wanting an acceleration. So let's do some math. You've got 2.8 times 9.81, there's gravity, equals 27.468, let's round it, okay, so this is Newton's, 468, I don't know the tension yet, I think that's, oh, that's the third thing we're going to do, okay, all right, so, we need to know if everything, in order to find these forces, we're going to need, and we've got weights, so mass times acceleration equals forces. So let's find the acceleration of the entire thing. This is the only force that's making it move. And both of these masses are involved. So when we do an F equals MA here, you're gonna say the force, which is this force, 27.5 Newtons, equals the total mass, so 3, 5, 5.8, okay, so we have uh, a, a total of, what is it, 6.3, 5, 6.3, times A. So let's divide 6.3 into 27, 27.5 divided by 6.3, and I get acceleration equals 4.37 um, meters per second squared. So this is B. They're asking for B. All right, so I should have answered A. Is the tension in the string greater than, less to, or equal to? Well, if it's moving this way, then it must be less than. Otherwise, it wouldn't move. It would stay put. And if it were greater than, it would move up. So your A is going to be, A will be less than, okay? B is finding acceleration, and now C is wanting the tension in the string, so we want this tension. All right, well obviously it's not equal, otherwise this would be stopped. We know the acceleration, okay, so we know that this force is moving down. I'm not interested yet in this. I'm only interested in this for the moment. So if I were to do the net force, so the net force is going to be 27.5 minus T. Okay, I'm going to need to do that. So what is the net force? The total force, let's do it that way. The total force that's making this move, okay, is going to be this weight, mass, times this acceleration. This mass times this acceleration is this net force that's making this move, just the force that's making this move. So this force is big. This force is a little bit smaller. This subtracts, 
and whatever's left over is making this mass move at that acceleration. So we're going to take 2.8, multiply it by 4.37, and find out how many newtons that is. Okay. So we get 12.2 newtons. All right. So 12.2 newtons is pulling it, but I've got all of this. This is a lot more than 12.2. So the rest, the rest of this must be the tension in the string. So let's subtract these two from each other. So I have 27.5 minus 12.2. Okay, so we get 27.5 mi newtons minus 12.2 newtons, and that gives me 15.3 newtons. That's the leftover, and that's equal to the tension. I like this one. Thank you.